Hello all and welcome back to another Four Stars Edit. We're about halfway through winter here in the UK and that means that we've had some really lovely frost this past week. So great photos in the garden in terms of picking up little ice crystals, farming on plants, trees, leaves, basically anything that you can find. So I thought why not edit an image with some of these ice crystals on and for me it's some of the best kind of things that you can blend a good edit to and find some nice abstraction pieces inside there so you can really throw things about in terms of the settings and hopefully get something nice out of them. So we'll jump straight in and we'll see how we do. So the image I've picked here is actually a African daisy plant from my own back garden. Um, and interestingly the African daisies, given the warm weather that we've had prior to this week, have started growing little buds on them. Unfortunately that's never going to come to fruition with the frost. What it does mean is that I've got a really nice image here to capture and hopefully play with. Um, I'm really hoping to get something fun out of this. So let's dive straight in, following our usual kind of fun, playing with the temperature. I'm going to bring that right down because I want to go for like a frost kind of vibe. Exposure, the first one's going to be quite moody for me. We're going to underexpose this quite a lot and pump that contrast up so we're going to have a lot of separation between those darks and those lights. Highlights, I want to bring those up because I really want to see those crystal shine. Shadows, and we're just going to play more with this contrast here. So the whites, let's just check those out. So they're going to be quite easy to overblow on the edges. But I don't mind that, I don't mind like us having a little bit of clipping as long as we do have I mean, it is ice after all, so it's supposed to be quite white. Clarity on this one, I'm going to push that up. I'm so tempted to push this up quite high, um, even though I know I say don't push the clarity up all the way, but I still want to bring out some of those like really... Ooh, playing with the whites. No. So really bring out some of the definition in those ice crystals. So I think around 50. Not that my 49. Dehaze wise, we'll leave that there. It is vibrance. Let's go up. And careful, guys. Let's play with those blues just a touch more. So we're gonna. Put some blues in those shadows. Bring that back down a little bit. And we're actually going to put some blues into those highlights as well. And let's just bring that curve back down. Let's get a center curve there. Let's mute those colors just a little bit with an S curve. Going heavy on those darker colors on those max. And the greens, what's left of the greens and the aqua coming down a bit in terms of saturation. And the lightness as well. And then more blues in the color grading. So I'm really going to push these blues as far as they go. I think we're good. Actually no, let's have a vignette in that, just to focus on that centre more. I'm going to go quite heavy on there. Yep, yeah, so let's go there. Okay, so let's have a look at the before and after on that one. Before and after. Let's get to our second image. So this one's going to look a bit weird, I get Usually I find pushing the colors up, the temperature up, it's great for autumnal pictures. I'm not too sure it works with icy pictures. Contrast, I'm not going to go anywhere with that. Highlights, I'm going to bring those back a bit. Shadows. Yeah, let's, um, let's bring those shadows down. Or those blacks down, sorry, a little bit. Not too much. I'm going to go in with a really strong curve on this one. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm not a big fan. Not too many yellows in there at the moment. Let's just bring that down a bit on the temperature. And we're just going to try and bring the saturation. Actually, no, because that defeats the point of me putting in temperature. So greens. Bring those down a little bit. Luminance. There we go. I think I'm liking that a little bit more now. And the yellows I might push towards the orange just a little bit. Color grading wise, let's go for the sepia tones. There we go. Care of our chromatic operations as usual. So let's have a look at the before. Let's have a look at the after. Onto my third image, so the one where I get to play. I'm going to leave that base default, close as is. No, we'll leave it there. So contrast, we're going up, highlights. I think similar to the first image, but we're going to leave this as the colors that it was meant to be, or the colors as shot, should I say? For now, the temperature is shot. I'm going to go and put a few gradients in and build these up. So instead of relying on a vignette, I'm going to use gradients instead. And I'm going to build those up slowly. So I'm going to add another gradient. This one's going to be a bit wider. And about that again. Once again. Bring that down. There we go. And the clarity on the outside of that one is going to come down a little bit just to give us a bit more of a fuzzy edge. A touch of texture going down as well. Okay, so that's got where I want it. Bury another quick linear gradient. Just in that top left to get rid of that highlight of green. Ooh, actually, bring that down a bit more. Sometimes you just don't know something's going to work until you try it, and I quite like that coming down. And then just another very quick one, just to get rid of that light. Okay, I'm quite happy with that. Clarity, I'm pushing that up because I want those ice crystals. And let's go. Very heavy on this. It's very washed out. Not too far up on those highlights because, as you can see, if I go up, they're going to really start to get washed out. And I want to keep that detail. And the saturation again on the greens, that's coming down. Luminance wise, down a little bit. And the greens, we're going to pump them more towards that green colour. Putting on a very subtle blue in the shadows. Leave the highlights as they are for this one. And I am, just to finish it off, we're going to put that vignette on again. There we go. So we've got the before, got the after. Let me know what you think in the comments. Is the favourite so far? Is there anything I shouldn't have done? Or any that you hate? Okay, so let's go straight in. Black and white. I think for this, I'm going to win. Yeah, bring down that exposure a bit. Maybe not actually. We'll leave the exposure where it is. But we're going to really pump the contrast up. And that's going to give us. Like I think if I pull that down, you can see it's quite washed out, but bringing those up, we get those dark leaves, the sun coming on the crystals. We should be able to get a bit more of that out of the highlights as well. And then we can get that greater separation between the blacks and the shadows. 
cloudy wise it's coming up again it's not something I usually do it's been cloudy but I really do like just to give you an example of this I'm zoomed in there might be an argument with this level of a hundred percent there's a slight bit of blur it could be a bit better it's quite soft um, but it's not something I generally too worry about two days these days because pictures for me are viewed at a full 100% fit not zooming in under a microscope it took me a long time to get used to that but it is so as you can see if I take that clarity what we're getting is a lot more noise in the image but at the same time it's sharpening the image um, another thing to bear in mind is instead of bringing the clarity up what I can actually do is leave that alone a little bit and just sharpen the image a little but I do want to bring it up just a touch to give us that more detail black and white let's go heavy on those blacks leaving the highlights quite high see if we can play the greens a little bit here and there's not too many yellows in the picture but I think we can oranges we've got some oranges I think I might take those up a little bit just underneath here I think I'm gonna leave that one as pure black and white I'm not going to touch the color graded so do I put a vignette in I'm always tempted to um, love it I hate it I think I quite like it. There we go. Okay, before and after. So as usual, I'll put the finished images on the screen now for you to have a bit of a closer look at. If you do like the images or you don't like the images, let me know in the comments. Feedback is always welcome. And as usual, if you do like this, remember to like and subscribe, buy me a coffee, show your spot. And until next time, see you later all.